All right. So this here is Golden Axe Warrior for the Sega Master System. The goal is to beat the game, and the quest is being submitted by Dark Hero TTV. We are currently nine hours into the game, and uh, we will continue from where we left off last time. The last time where we, where we ended is basically we've collected all the gems. But we're... Ah, crap, that's the wrong button. Never touch that button. <laughs> we were heading for... Um, Death Adder's Fortress. Wherever that was located. <clears throat> we have a pretty good idea where it's actually located. So that's our goal for the moment. I just need to find the. I know there's an inn somewhere here that sell or gives away free healing. I think it's this place. Yep. There we go. So now we want to get to the. There. We can get out to the ocean. And then you just go north from here. I thought it was north of this place. Hmm, if I recall correctly. The question is just how we actually get into it. I guess we haven't really solved that problem. I'm pretty certain. Let's see here. Can I use this? Alright, we need to land to the right. Let's do it here then. Because I am pretty certain Death Island's Fortress is just right south of me here, right? Yes. Death Island's Fortress is inside of this fortification here. But how do we get in? That is the question. It does look a lot like you're able to get in here and just do the correct things. The question is just what are those correct things? That is the like the only place where there's just one tile blocking access. This tile here. I really, I, I when I try to kill all the enemies, I don't think it's gonna help. You never really know, do you? Only this last frog, however, is gonna. I thought it was going to be a pain. Hmm. Can't call spells on water. Because I thought... I thought the prophecy said that once you're... Once you have all the crystals, the path should open. That's apparently not the case. Unless I have to like go up there maybe. But here there's always like two tiles of rocks blocking us. There's nothing indicating I can actually shoot my way through it. I guess here there's also indication that you might be able to get through. Hmm. It's definitely no Discord announcement. 
As Discord hated on me. It seems so. That is weird. Does explain the silence though. Mooks. I I've been thinking why doesn't stream elements have their own um, Discord integration really? They have like everything else. Sharpie, how are you doing? I don't even know where to connect all of this anymore. Muxis like changed. That still has the Discord thingy. That's weird. Seems like Muxi just hates on me at the moment. I've been wanting stream elements to have their own Discord bot, but it doesn't seem like they prioritize it. <laughs> he just woke up. It's like 3 8 p.m. at your place, isn't it? There's, there's our, our manual announcement. Uh, how do we get in? How do we make a path? Allow ourselves to get in Death Adder's Fortress. Net is all fixed. And we actually got an uh, like a promise now from from your net provider that it actually works. Scumbag of a princess. They added more modem cables. They're pretty sweet though. They're, they're actually like are apparently committed to solving the issue. sold services so that was the core issue they they sold more than they could deliver why aren't people punished for behaviors like that it feels just super sketchy to me but I guess that's just me supposed to go big time sketchy all right it's not just me <laughs> 
Sharpie never sleeps. Yeah, I've never seen Sharpie sleep. So I don't think he ever does. the water magic the power of the water helps you become stronger uh, yeah I know it heals me but the gate to death adder's headquarters can only be opened if you have the nine crystals yes but I do the question is where is the gate to death adder's headquarters I guess that's the it's issue. a science <laughs> hey Yorki. Right, so the issue has to be that I haven't found the actual gate to his headquarters. The gate has to be hidden somewhere throughout the game. I just gotta find it. Have you played this, by the way, Sharpie? Has this already come up? I'm guessing it already has come up. If I understand it correct, this pretty widely appreciated the game. Widely, I mean, not white. White, yeah, you get. It. Yeah, but doesn't Sharpie do Mega Drive like all SMS games as well? Kind of. He didn't. Was it Nikin who just like bought all of them? First SMS game you ever played. That's a that's a really good thing to start with though. This game is great. If I were Death Adder, where would I hide the entrance to my fortress? I would hide it in the mountains, maybe? Be extra careful. I was hoping someone would give me a hint. Have I gotten a hint? I need to... Yeah, the, the music in those rooms are, are awesome. The story rooms. The important story characters. Exactly, that's what I thought too, that you added all the SMS games. You seem to remember that. <laughs> Only like 114. Jesus man, you're jaded. <laughs> the wrong way. But what did she say? She said Exterminate before he destroys this world. Ugh. Ooh, Spy vs. Spy. I played the NES game not too long ago. That was a great, great experience. Secrets. Pretty certain I've checked all of this, but all these rocks are destructible. I 
No secrets. God damn it. Yeah, that's more than the NES game. Then the NES game had eight levels, I think. It it still felt like a really big um, game for a, for an NES title. But the SMS is apparently twice as big then. Still had a great time with it though. In the beginning, the universe was created. This made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. What's up, Goro? Destructible. You can climb down here. All of these are destructible. Right. God damn it. I feel like someone's just playing games with me. Oh, that is destructible. No? No, wait. God damn it. It ain't. How's everything with GoBro today? I hope you're doing fine. No wins, Yorkie. I'm sorry. God damn it. I need to acquire more magic. to the west. Well, that I actually do remember. Today is not worse. That's the spirit, kind of. Yes. Is there anywhere I haven't been yet? I'm pretty certain I've opened all of those rocks already. We're looking for the entrance to Death Adder's Fortress. You can't just go by um, by ship to it, it seems like. The entrance has to be hidden somewhere. An NPC said that uh, the entrance will be won't be revealed until we have all the crystals. Since we have all the crystals now, it should be revealable. That's a word. But we need to find what reveals it. Which I'm still not sure of. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for how to get into that fortress. I'm just running around to every spot I can remember that's looked even remotely uh, suspicious. Some guy stealing all my monies. This place is still suspicious. Still feel I don't really trust this spot. Really feels like there is something here, but 
I believe there isn't. I'm gonna use the ice spell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll back punch. That guy is tells me to go climb here. And let's see. If it, maybe I should run back to the starting village. Maybe that's where they've hidden. Hidden the secrets. Gravestone somewhere, actually, when I think of it. We haven't checked every gravestone at the starting area. This is the furthest west I can get. And I've examined all of that area. I've been up here for both the upgrades. And being around here. Good luck. Princess Terrace. Firewood is finished. Except that I did actually solve that issue, but you know. Don't mind me. Alright, so this place is suspicious, right? The only thing we've done here is start the game. Would have been the perfect spot to hide the entrance to Death Adder's lair. But apparently not. Is there anything, anything indicative on this map? Not really. I know where I'm supposed to go, but... I really would have wanted the secret to be there. It would have been... It would have been perfect. I don't have a golden apple. That would be good to pick up. Nor do I have um, this here. This guy sells keys, magic feather, oil. Oil, I feel, can be good to have in case our armor rusts. Let me contact with one of those Rost monsters again. This this tile is also suspicious. Like really damn suspicious. Simply because there's nothing here. And it's so elaborate. Like why why are you so elaborate? That was new. Sure. What? Ah. Huh. So using using the ice bell. God damn it! I guess I gotta run around everywhere now in ice bell. That might be how we're supposed to find it. God damn it. So get used to this bell sound now.
Oh! Well, that was the tile you needed to visit. Alright, alright, good, good. I didn't think it would be... I really didn't expect it to be a tile with a... Um, with the entrance to a dungeon. Alright, here we go everyone. Death at a fortress. These eyes are annoying because they're so fast. It is really hard to actually get to them in time. The dark arrow. We found Death Adder's palace. Now we just gotta get through it. A lot of enemies here. Yeah, we still don't have the golden axe. Like I, I am sort of assuming it's hidden here somewhere. Like somewhere in this fortress. Not the ball guy. Shit, it deals a lot of damage. That smells an awful lot like a mimic, doesn't it? I wasn't quick enough to actually check if it is, if it was a mimic. I'm just sort of like assuming it is a mimic. We can act ah, it is a mimic. You can see it from um, when it appears and disappears whenever you uh, enter and exit rooms. This is legitimately Thaism. It's freaking shells. Should probably have bought a golden apple. But I do have um 
the water spell. Did I need it? Probably burned through a bit of it. Like already. Just get some health back. I also kind of want to have magic left in case there's a, a big challenge somewhere. Don't die. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do my best. That I can ensure you. Unfortunately, I'm not one for delivering pro tips too much, I'm afraid. Almost at 200, that must have been a long time ago. to the middle of the room all the time because that will give me like more reach than starting at the like far end of a room so wonky in this game sometimes you sort of like slide past everything most of the time it works really well but sometimes it creates like really really strange situations it feels like what just threw a sword right straight through my shield try a really lantern yeah I think I have so far. <laughs> Haven't I? Maybe I didn't try it here. Ah, uh, that's because they weren't lit. I've yet to find a lantern to be pulled that weren't lit to begin with, but you're right. I should I should pull them all. Just to make sure. First minibus room. Oh yeah, you're right. I haven't. Oh well. If we need to head back, I will do that. I'm pretty certain there will be traps that send me back to the beginning of the, the temple. They seem to be into those kinds of traps in this game. some inexplicable reason I find those kinds of jokes really damn funny. This is an enemy that multiplies in, in indefinitely. Alright, stop multiplying. Oh, damn. Literally. I'm 
Could you guys stop bouncing around? Just die. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, that's unfortunate. I know. I'm certain there's gonna be a block that I need to break. Hey. I was like, the question is just which one? Why would it drop a key? I have to have the uh, the skeleton key by now. Does it all drop? These flames are scary. first time I've seen a key drop like that. I think that was more like why I was surprised. It must be super super rare. God damn it. These enemies are the freaking worst. They're not worse than rust beetles I guess but still. They are almost the worst. Because rust beetle sort of like cost you 70 horns if you get hit. That's like effectively what they do. I figured. Gonna use earth magic again. Get a bit of spawn pattern. That's a good one. Crap. Thunderbolt these guys? Nah, that sucks. I can, but their hitbox is just super small, it seems like. Shit. At least these are better than the ones that move randomly. I really wish there was a sword with a slightly longer reach. It doesn't have to be much longer, just somewhat. Oh yes, Keith. Thank you. A freaking dead end? Oh, there we go. Where's this just where? Oh. How much have we been porting around? Crap ton, that's for sure. Come on, Beetle. I ain't. 
sticking my head out here. There we go. I am trusting no beetle. Wizards are pretty good enemies, they tend to drop a lot of mana it seems like. It seems like, I'm not sure if that's actually true if it's just confirmation bias. It seems like it's good enough for me. <laughs> bound to be something. Screw that room in particular. God damn it. The bats. It's a bit hard to measure your movement when you go from land to boat to land again all the time. Shit. I think I have more use. Just more health, actually. Alright, voting has opened, everyone. Shall we continue to play? Um. Golden Axe Warrior. Get your votes in, everyone. Get your votes in. Shit. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> difficult. I don't even know if there's anything hidden in here. Like, I I don't know if I'm risking my life in vain. Alright, one more to go. Nothing here. God damn it. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Dying in here is gonna send me back so freaking far. Let's hope they drop something of use. Just one piece of bread, please. Preferably like a piece of meat, of course, but... A piece of bread. A piece of bread, bread works. I'm not picky right now. I really wish there was a way to teleport out. I don't think there's gonna be anything for me. Nope. Screw me. Ah, shit. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna suck. Come on. Get close enough, please. Right. 
crap. <laughs> Alright, we voted to continue. Some bread. This, this is where we die. I guarantee it. There's no rest for the wicked anymore here. I guess I could try to stun some enemies. I get a really good stun off. Like that. Crap. I just sends me back to the beginning, I guess. So let's go buy a golden apple somewhere. Pretty good spot to like heal up and everything. And save our progress so far. It would be incredibly unfortunate if the, <laughs> the dungeon like randomizes whenever you die or something dumb like that. It would be kind of funny as well. Ah, oh, that's that was the one I was looking for. I don't remember where else they sell golden apples, though. I just remember one place throughout the entire game. And that's as far away as I can possibly get. Like, I know there's a place on um, the ice continent as well. I don't remember where it was exactly. And the other place I remember is the town to the absolutely far lower left of the map. I guess I do run pretty fast though, so we can just run there. Where can I land? That's true, I can keep, I can run around and ring the bell. Might be more secrets. I was thinking of is this guy up here sell some golden apple oh door is ringing be right back My wife had forgotten her keys. Twenty? Damn. Far too expensive. I only have eighteen. <laughs> dog <laughs> the 
did anyone watch the Nintendo Direct? With all the E3 reveals they had. It's quite impressive, I think. Like, I'm really glad... Um, I really want to play the Link's Awakening remake. It looks so damn good. And I've always been a fan of the Animal Crossing games. Just they take so much time. I doubt I'll be able to play it, but it looked great. More was it they revealed? Of course, I can't remember. I remember there were a lot of cool stuff, at least. New Smash characters? I mean, I don't play Smash myself, but I'm always happy to see more crossover characters. Like Dragon Warrior, that's. That was unexpected. Like, I, I've always wanted Banyo. Banyo Kazooie. I'm happy to see them return. I was just hoping, like. Why can't, why can't Rare do a good Banyo Kazooie game again? Release it for Nintendo for Switch. Oh, the, se the sequel to um, Zelda, of course. Pretty cool. I don't think they've ever made. Oh, they have made direct sequels like that before, but it felt like different. God damn it. So where were we here? We're gonna have to fight the mini boss again. It's unfortunate. Yeah, some some of the reveals were really really cool. Like a sequel to Breath of the Wild is probably the coolest. I really didn't expect that. I like these really easy to kill enemies. They're they're perfect for farming up some resources. Two wizards there. Where was I going? I was going through here, through here. I guess I can do this room because it's easy to easy to farm. This is even magic means health now. Getting more of it is good stuff. Here we go. We have this room. hanging out before work. Oh yeah, wait. I think we talked about this before. You work the night shift, right? It wasn't as easy as, like, just 
pulling a torch. God damn it, I hate this room. I'm doing fine myself. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. Even though, like, I know, I know it's just a Zelda clone, but it's a really good Zelda clone. The biggest issue with this game is, of course, my reach in comparison to everyone else's reach. Ah, oh, shit, this boss, I remember this one. He's pretty easy, if I recall. He's just very time-consuming. So you can take quite a lot of hits. It's not like it's not challenging. There we go. We played this game before. Yeah, look, this is the first time seeing it. Alright, so which one was the right? That one. Top left. Works every time. That was more of insurance because I really don't want to fight three of these at the same time. You have the golden axe! Yes! Finally a good axe weapon. Now we just gotta figure out... Now we just gotta figure out... How to... Um, how to get to the actual boss? I guess? Is that I don't know. Like, I don't know where the boss is hidden. on the Genesis collection. So this isn't the Genesis game. <laughs> Let's have a slightly shorter range because I can't stab over over holes, I guess. Probably hidden behind a destructible block somewhere. Or I need to chop something down with a golden axe. And this is sort of a classic case of why does the <laughs> why does the boss that can only be killed by this one weapon keep that one weapon in his own in his own like apartment, more or less. Isn't that really dumb? I guess one can can argue like keep your enemies close, sort of. 
it still feels like pretty dangerous. Overlord list was still a few years away. People were still novices back in these days. Mom. I wonder if they tried to spawn far away from you. something I haven't done, I guess the question is. Now we've done that. Did this. I haven't destroyed that one. Never know, there could be a double double secret. Stuff dies so much faster all of a sudden. to backtrack to like the beginning of the, the fortress altogether. That was this room. I never found anything of use here. Yeah, I, I realized my health was pretty pretty low. There we go. There was something more in here. Hopefully there's a little less advance. So we were just lucky that we found the Golden Axe Path before the rest of the, the temple. Really. Lobsters or shellfish or whatever they call clams.
For you, the day Bison graced your village hey, was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. I'm just keeping you on the 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 edge of your seat, you know. You know the sign up's gonna come eventually, you don't need it now. Just relax, be one with the world, you know, zen and all of that. Gonna be something these statues shoot, I knew it. Freaking knew it. Have you started getting any signups yet, yet, Roar? Shit, these are... That's so dumb! Get over here! Nice. 58? Damn. You're doing really good then. All of them are fakes. Every single one of them. I really think people should sign up for MTL. That'd be awesome. If people consider it, at least they should. It is a hell of an experience. How do I get to that teleport pad then? <laughs> the shits. Oh well. I like those enemies. Those are slow. Slow and manageable. How's the new place, by the way, Roar? I've had some time there now, right? Everything is miserable? Again? The fuck? I get hit by a car? The shits? <laughs> That's unnecessary. Why do you go around and do stuff like that to yourself? Doesn't America have like the biggest of insurance payouts for stuff like that? That's basically what your economy is built upon. I know that's just... Uh, what do you call it? Assumptions? It was a hit and run. Hyper Bowl, yeah, thank you. I was looking for the word like for when you have an opinion on something before you actually know anything about it, but Hyper Bowl works as well. See you around there, like, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Hyper Bowl works as well, it sort of like encapsulates what I'm after. There's a word like say if I say if I've never met a Norwegian and I say all Norwegians are uh, they wear knitted shirts 
That's a... That's a something. There's a word for that. Stereotype. Hyperbole. Hyperbole? Generalization? Hyperbole? You... Is it not just hyperbole? Generalization. Generalizations. Now it's like hyperbole. Bully? Hyperbully? Hyperbole. -e. What? Hyperbole. You actually say the E? Why? You don't say horsey. Oh, hi, Perboli. I think you're. I think you're messing with me. I think you're just pulling my leg. I'm a. I'm a googly. <laughs> googly it. Apparently. God damn it. Why would you say hyperbole if you don't say googly? One game at a store that had JP Rentals thinking it was Lil Nemo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, it was probably on the the topic of Dream Master. <laughs> and what do you have about God damn? <laughs> Her glory days are over, Yorkie. That's that's not fair. You can't just go around and break the economy like that. <laughs> you know the big banks of the rest of the world's economies tries the same methodology, just create money to the left and right. But Kekstein doesn't do that. We're responsible. Hey, Apara. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> it's fine. But don't make a habit out of it. It's just because I need to prove that it's not hyperbole. It's hyperbole. Like 600k. Right, para, parabolic, you're on my side, right? It is called hyperbole, not hyperbole. You can buy the full mana. It was 50 horns, I think. <laughs> God damn it. I don't think Geekbot knows those words. Hyperbole, it sounds like a bowling game. But how can the E? No, no, no more. You've had your fun now, Yorkie. You need to take a rest. I'll do a goatee. What's a goatee? <laughs> I didn't even know what doing a goatee is. Game, you get a single gem or crystal. XD. Oh, how. <laughs> That's what you meant. <laughs> Learner, dumb, teacher, dumb stuff. Hi, per, bo, li. 
Hyperbole. That sounds Japanese. Hyperbole. I'm freaking upset with your language right now. Wait, why did I want one piece of magic? To hope that I'm right? God damn it. I need three pieces of magic. Well, I guess now I need two. Click the button. That link looks sketchy as shit, you know. Oh, it's just a Google search. All right. Hyperbole. What? Hyperbole. 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 <laughs> but why? All right. English dot stack change. Why is hyperbole pronounced so differently from its spelling? Hyperbole comes from the Greek. Uh, via Latin. When English adopts words from other languages, it often keeps both the spelling and pronunciation close to those original languages. Since other languages have different spellings, conversation conventions from ours, in particular in many languages, a final E is in silence. My neighborhood is... Oh, okay, okay. Our disparities compare for, forte, mocha, jalapeno. Alright. Okay. I still claim horsey. <laughs> I probably. All right, right. Because in Swedish we have a word. Kittenbully. <laughs> in Swedish we have a word. Uh, the Swedish version of hyperbole is hyperbol, which is like exactly how it's spelled, so I just assumed that we borrow that from English and like just made our own sort of version of it. But our version makes so much more sense. I think. I need freaking mana game. <laughs> Give me magic. God damn it. Hyperbole. That one's gonna take a long time to get used to. <sighs> Where is mana? Wait, to do English? I thought English was pretty limited in the vocabulary because we have like synthetic. Swedish and Finnish are wonderful languages in that we have synthetic words. We can make up words and people understand perfectly what they mean because we can combine words that have never been combined before and they make sense. It's awesome. And Finnish is even worse because they can compound prepositions together with a noun to create new words. That's one piece of magic. You still blame the French. Goddamn French, right? The French is pretty weird when it comes to like spelling and pronunciation, yes. Letters are a suggestion. That's one way of looking at it, I guess. God damn it, I didn't keep track of my health. Oh well, I'll run run out quickly to heal up full. This dungeon is crazy big. Imagine if French had never been like a fashionable language. 
The, less, the rest of the languages in the world would make so much se more sense. Original etymology of hyperbole, hyperbole E, so that inflection on the end was gotten rid of over time. I don't know what the word inflection means with regards to languages. accents. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. oh well. English is eight. Well, I stand corrected. I am not above admitting that I don't know exactly where all words come from. But I still think it's weird that you didn't but butcher the word when you adopted it. You should have. Should have shown them who's boss around here. He's gonna take horns. Hey, cave horns. English is eight. One Korean, two Turkish, three Swedish. What? Korean? I didn't know Korean had so many words. I mean, there has to be a trick when you have many words. Like, Swedish has synthetic words, as do Finnish. I didn't know Korean has synthetic words. Maybe they do. Chonen. Oh, it's probably the, um, it's probably the, um, ah, oh, shit, what's the, what are they called? The, um, combination of verbs and nouns in Korean. Korean does this thing, I think they count as a single word at least. When you when you compound together like what you do what you do and what you're what you are, right? If I recall correctly. No wait, they don't. I actually don't know them. <laughs> I thought I knew, but when I started thinking of it, I don't know anymore. Could be, maybe they have like an old language and a new language, sort of. That's pretty common. Like Norwegian does. You have like Nynorsk and uh, Bokmål. Could be. Could be. I don't know actually. There we go, finally. I knew it was one of them. Sure looks like we're getting closer to something. Or for the data throwing? Don't worry.
Whoop, is it Death Adder? Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom, boom, boom. I actually thought the final boss would have a different theme. Maybe he isn't the final boss. I'm going to assume he is... Shit. Jesus Christ! Fake boss, you think? Yeah, could very well be. But he deals crap tons of damage. Second phase. What does this year's reveal? No? So that was the final boss. Oh well. <laughs> the collected people of Firewood, Nandoria, and Alturia enthusiastically celebrated your return from the palace under the sea. The lair of the evil giant, Death Adder. Your success means a new age of peace and prosperity for Princess Tiris and her people, and for all the countries of the world. A great feast is announced in your honor, and amid the festivities, the assembled royalty joins in a pact to unite their lands under the princess to ensure future peace. The Golden Axe, the instrument of the world's liberation, returned once more to its resting place beyond the grasp of mortals. The legends say that the axe will return once evil rises once more to challenge peace and happiness. The legend of your battle with Death Adder and his vile minions will be told besides the evening fire for ages to come. The people feel certain that if the evil ever returns, so shall the Golden Axe Warrior. Two seconds to vote. Perfect. <laughs> yep, but you know the rules. No, no vote, no gold. That's that simple. There's gonna be a big payout anyway, because we'll play this game for 10 hours. That's the end of the game, I think. Yep. A really nice game, yeah. I'll give this one a very good. I I like this game. Where's my refund for trying to get Kaikik <laughs> bot to pronounce hyperbole? <laughs> I don't know what refunds you're talking about. I've never heard of such a such a thing. Hmm. While this game is a pretty blatant copy of Zelda 1 is a pretty darn good one. The graphics 
a vastly improved. The dungeons are more interesting. And the addition of villages and people in the world makes it so much more so much more um, word am I looking for immersive sure you do got so much short short range in the end enemy hitboxes are a bit wonky and there was that one moon logic puzzle one that one moon logic kinda puzzle hyperbole <laughs> that was the word we were looking for exactly But I still think this game is very good. I enjoyed all 10 hours. I had a really... I had a great time. Oh, I love this song! Especially this version. I think it's so goddamn good. All right. I like this game. This journey is turning out better than I thought. Uh, you know, not that I had any doubts. 